Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more into the Gungeon Lich Streaks. Boo, boo. This is uh, the, the ghost of Rito taking over the channel. We're on a streak of 52. Let's roll our eight sided die. And we are going to be the number six guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Convicts. What am I doing? I don't feel like it. We ain't going for that. We'll go for the alt weapon, but not the alt costume. That's pretty much the, the way I like to roll with this character. Some, excuse me? Something about the alt gun. I like it. Something about the alt costume. I don't like it. Simple as that. We're going to turn that speedrun mode off. A uh, pronto. A uh, pronto. Because quite frankly, it gives me some, uh, some anxiety just seeing it move so dang quickly. Ain't about that. Ain't about that. But alas, alas, what are we looking for when we play as the uh, the bullet? Hi, you thought I was going to fall into the trap of talking about the convict, didn't you? Was the bullet a quick shield is always a nice get, but if you're playing well enough, it doesn't even matter. Why you do this game? Immediately. Just let me let me ease into the game. Second room, you give me the uh, big, big handgun boy. Not into it. Not into it. But, uh, yeah, as the bullet, you know, an early shield, it just makes the game a little bit less stressful. Not a big deal if you're playing well enough, like I said. Need guns a little bit less. What are we looking for when we're playing as the Marine? Oh, you know what? We can rock shotguns a little bit better. Rock shotguns a little bit better, a little bit more accuracy. What are we looking for when we're playing as the Convict? Beats me. We ain't talking about it. We're not, not something we're going to have to deal with today, of course. Of course, of course. But, uh, you know, kind of a st stinky character. <laughs> kind of a stinky character. We say that probably every time. But as I always often follow that up with, you know, as stinky as the character is compared to the other characters, the divergence between the best and worst character in this game, not that huge, in my opinion. Not that huge. And there's always something that remains to be, like, confirmed when you're saying, like, wor worst for beginners? Probably the robot, you know? Convict is probably better for beginners because they can maybe be more likely to utilize her, uh, her thing that makes her stinky to veterans, which is the fact that what gives her value? Uh, enraging photograph, I guess. You know? I, I guess. That's like kind of it, you know? That's the the thing. The shotgun is not bad on the first floor, but it's also like not even that much better than just using the, the standard, you know? We talk about it, we talk about it. I, shoot, I fell into the trap. We talk about it a lot. The, uh, you know, the balance of the characters. It's easy to talk about on the first floor. We're gonna talk, we'll, we'll, we'll meta-commentate on it right now. Of course, it's easy to talk about on the first floor. Nothing special has happened with the run yet. And it, uh, you know, at this point, it never really has. Lil Bomber's an interesting proposition. It could be the first interesting thing to happen in the run. It's, uh, we get Lil Bomber, you know? We can use it as a better weapon than the sawed-off. But mostly it's kind of just got that utility where you can indeed use it to find secret rooms, which I will often forget that I can do. Not to mention the fact that the uh, King Bomber synergy is ridiculous. It's regosh darn ridiculous. Bip -bip -bip. Got him. Could buy the little bomber. I ain't gonna. Okay, blood out millimeter. Not a bad yet. Not necessarily a baguette either. A big yet either. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna crank the the wheel and see. Yeah, it's disappointing. It's uh, that's a disappointing sh shot right there. <laughs> I wasn't gonna swear with that. I just had no idea what I was going for. You ever start a sentence and not know where it's gonna end? Or, you know. Absolutely. We could uh, we could easily have filled that gap with something that's LOL so random, but I ain't about that life. I ain't about that life. I got a little bit more self-control than that. Not really. That's one dead trigger twin. This is precisely... Good shot. Good shot. Precisely one 
good floor for the Dungeon Eagle, and that is the first floor. I mean, I'll use it on the second. I'll use it on the second. Fat line's okay. Way cooler looking and themed than it is strong. Boink. And we are off to the races. I'm going places. We got the fat line. We can do it. All right, all right. One moment. This is very important. I must stop everything because my girlfriend just got into Pokemon Go, and it's a big deal. And she sent me a, a effectively gave me a, a who's that Pokemon in real life. So I must inform her. I don't even know, how do you spell this son of a gun? Duns, Dunsparce. Guys, know you know what I'm talking about? This son of a gun that looks like he's, uh, frankly, a little bit like on drugs here. What a... I just... I've been practicing my entire childhood to get a Who's That Pokemon in real life. Because, uh, it is quite exciting. Who's that Pokemon? It's the one that looks like it's on drugs. Boy, oh boy. He's, uh... He looks tired. Or maybe, maybe he's just tired. Maybe he's just tired. He's... <laughs> She, she said, because in Pokemon Go, it shows you where it's, oh my goodness, where certain ones are, and then it just shows you the uh, the silhouette, you know. She gave me the silhouette. Of course, I, I, I got this Pokemon Master Supreme. Who's that Pokemon? It's done sparse. She says it was much cuter before she could see it, so I don't I don't blame her. It, it, it's not the cutest. Not the cutest. Whoop, whoop. That line has such a huge recharge. Do we get... Wait, do we get bloody 9 millimeter shots off of this? I guess... I Okay, I couldn't see... Didn't see why we wouldn't, but it's kind of funny that they actually do come out of the gun instead of from the wall. Yeah, we gun dropping this. It's not... It's just not doing it for me. It just rarely does, you know? It killed him, like, relatively quickly. But I'm, uh, frankly, I'm just not sold on it. And I, maybe I just haven't had the big boy run. The fat line big boy run. That's a maybe from me, to be honest. Ruby, new Ruby bracelet's okay. It's almost worth it just for contact damage immunity. It'll save me from a hit, probably. And in that sense, like, anything that saves you from contact damage, you can basically subtract... It's, it's weird, okay. It's very weird, but to phrase it this way, but you can basically subtract the cost of a shield. You know, if you if you don't think about it too too darn hard, you can subtract the cost of a shield. You know, because it's saving you that hit effectively. Weird, but I I I'd, I'd say it checks out, right? Don't think about it too hard. Checks out. Get ourselves a bonus key. Got ourselves the sling for the boss as well. Always a good get on a run where you just don't quite have a boss killer. It's not a like it's not a run changer, run winner or anything, but when you don't have something, just that's just good enough. It's super good enough. That's that's for sure. That's the one thing I'll say about it. It's good enough. Kind of interesting. You would almost think that that guy would explode it towards you with the shots coming from the the bum like that. But nah, man. Nah, man. Wow me, fat line. I mean, here's the situation where it's good. Here's the situation where it's good. We hide behind a wall like a wee baby. A, a complete baby. And we just... We use the cheese factor of it to kill him from behind cover. That's kind of like the value, I'd say, right? Not some extreme value or anything, but it's it it's it could be worth. It. An interesting combo could be something like a uh, portable table device. Portable table device plus it, you mean you could uh interesting, okay. 
you could throw it down and then just uh, just hide. Crutch. So we could. Okay, I thought that would maybe home in like crazy. I think he's moving a little bit too fast to get too much homing. Don't you do it. This ain't going that my way. Oh, Burger King, have it your way, please. I would love to. I think I just got a little bit saved by a glass guan stone. Not a fan. Not a fan, 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 not a fan. Where are you? I want to bounce off the wall for you. He just got get down, Mr. Presidented, by his little friend right there. All right. Here's the one situation where I do allow myself to use this item. We are we've been given it as a gift from uh, from the universe. I just I'm gonna fill it up because I want to. This is for science. This is for science. I'm filling it up not because I really think it's that great. But I'm filling it up strictly because I want to learn more. I need to know. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. All right. Why are you close? Why are you good? Why are you bad? Oh, man. The bachis are this early. It would be pretty satisfying to have been able to take down Mr. Rat with his own devices. Not that he even uses this. If anything, you'd think he would be... Um, using his boxing glove which if that's the case says it's cheating but uh in, in the game in the ammonomicon but quite frankly i think it's a huge downside that gun is quite dukish not good dare i say how, how good is the crutch not that not that good not that good i used to like it a lot you know, I, I feel like the earlier you are in your Gungeon career, the more valuable it can be. I tried so hard. That was my first hit. I tried so hard to get value out of the Ruby Bracelet. I guess that can probably, if we take a, a physical damage hit... Oh, okay. We could probably just cancel out the value that I said I was going to gain because of that. That wouldn't have done that if it wasn't for it. So the rocket powered bullets for, uh, plus the crutch. Is it kind of like a, uh, is it a detriment? I wonder to have the moving it moving fast, or I wonder if the crutch is still just as effective. You know what I'm saying? Like, is it moving so fast that the gravitational pull from the sling or uh, from the crutch is actually not as valuable? I could see it being the case. That was a pretty satisfying room to use that in. I'll admit, I'll admit. I think I just need to... When I get it, I just don't use it like a situational gun. But it's just such a... It's such a situational gun. Which means, you know... In some situations, it is a banger. You just don't want to use it all the time. Like, here you go. Like, we can do that. It's some value. If you want to play it safe, I feel like maybe it's a gun that might be a little bit better as uh, for a beginner or something that just doesn't want to get up in there and get their hands dirty. Somebody wants to play it a little bit safer, save some health. And nothing of value there. Keep on moving. Keep that booty moving. Keep that booty grooving. Keep it moving. Keep it grooving. Value. See, there we go. Value. Safety. Safety. I like it. It's just not a speed run gun. And I guess, like, a lot of the way I play the game is typically uh, my value comes from playing a little bit quicker, playing a little bit more dangerous, a little bit more risky. It's not that, you know? That doesn't mean it's bad. It just means it's different. Not bad, just different. I'll keep filling it up for the sake of science. So, like, you can't argue with that. Like, that's... That was good. That was good to have there. 
Getting synergy with this. Very good gun, though. Very good gun, the Mega Hand. We uh, love those. I don't know why I knew it was you. Okay, so it does not slow him down like any kind of ice. I'm curious. I don't know, it's just one of those weird guns, so I was like, maybe... Uh, what? That's not where he was. Can we talk about that? Uh... Such a dumb idea! Can't believe he got away with it. Can't believe he got away with it. I have no idea if we would have been fine there. It doesn't melt. It kind of melts bosses. I don't know. I got to factor in that we do have rocket bullets, which is some value. Son of a gun's going to die before he comes back. Except that he cannot. I'm going to pop that out because I just, quite frankly, am <laughs> going to be disappointed if I take damage when he's at zero health. That is a... Banging boss reward all around through and through. Holy moly. Already on the fourth floor. Don't mind if I do. Done sparks. Look at my phone. It's done sparks. All right. Oh. 16 minutes on the hollow. Not bad. Not quite a speed run. But it's a it's a moving quite quick run. It's a zip zip, zip zip run. Here we go. The hunt for value. I'm finding it, guys. That's the value. That's the value right there. It's like a, it's like abyssal tentacle or any anything like that. It has a clear usage. If you just pick it up and it's your like your, one of your first guns you get, you might be kind of disappointed because you want to use it like a normal gun, and it can be used that way, but it's just better used a different way. Can't explain how that skull is just floating like that. Can't explain that. Sunlight Javelin does not show up in the uh, the center of the chest there. Kind of strange. All right. Sunlight Javelin is another one that is maybe misunderstood by me. I would like to understand you, my friend. I'd like to understand you. Because your visuals are so cool. I'm going to do it. Was it a good deal? Meh. Meh. Was it the worst trade deal made ever? No, I don't think so. But I don't love it. You know what, let's answer a Discord question. We haven't done that yet. Link in the description if you have a question you want to ask. Ask me in the video, then I will answer live on this pre-recorded footage. Dude guy, dude guy asks, what is your favorite seasonal food? Hmm. Hmm. I don't have a lot of like, hmm. Like, I, I mean, I love having a lot of soups in the, in the Minnesota winter here. It is, you know, very, very satisfying. So I consider that a seasonal food. If you're just talking like uh, more specifically in the in the sense of like holiday, like a special one that ha we would have on a sp certain holiday, I always have this for Christmas. We would always have a chili cheese chili cheese day. Oh my God, we have the rocket bullets. We can use that to our advantage. No, we can't. No, we can't. Oh, we could have, we could have if we were planning on it right away. But yeah, we used to always have chili cheese dip on, on Christmas. And it's just like forever been in my head as that's a, that's a Christmas flavor. That's a winter flavor. Just a nice warm cheesy thing. You can make a, easy to make a vegetarian version. Easy to make, you know, that kind of deal. Just a nice, nice warm food. That is very, uh, a very guilty pleasure to have in the middle of a cold winter. Actually getting some sick Valia out of the crutch here. I think with charge shot we can get some extra value because it's going to be bouncing around the city like crazy. 
Crutch and Corsair seems like it'd be a nice little combo. I feel like we probably had it a couple times. You know, being two items that have been in the game since the beginning, I honestly would be a little surprised if we haven't had the combo. The question is if we've used it, because we've gone through we've gone through a lot of phases with Corsair. I'm currently in a place where I'm like, I see the value, and I'll probably use it on some bosses, but I don't love it. I don't love it. It's just, I don't love using it is more probably a, a proper way of explaining it. I don't love to use it. Not saying it's even bad. That crutch shot was hilarious there. It curved around. I, I guess crutch applies to uh, the cop as well, but I feel like... Doesn't he only shoot when he's going to hit, you know? I guess I would think. I would think that with uh, with his years of experience on the force. Oh, we lost our freaking... Nope. Not a fan. We lost our, uh, our lovely ruby bracelet charge. Right when we needed it most. Spider booties. Bug boots. It is a yikes indeed. It's one of those items that's like, it's not good, but at least it's not useless. Is it close to useless? Eh. It's on the uh, it's on the cusp of useless, but it's not useless. Gives you poison immunity at the very least. Is kind of how I look at it. At least it gives you that. Easy. Take my blood. We have three in the bank, so there's a no-brainer doing it three times. Big boy on campus. Oh, such a good item. How do we get the charge back so quickly? We do it twice. Oh, my God. Have I never had big boy on this? days before it's just on this fight it's so crazy god dang man that is the speedrunner's dream combo of boss and item yoink Send him. and we got ourselves the crossbow beautiful Lovely little combo there. <laughs> Crossbow and uh, nothing. I could get some extra money, but quite frankly, I don't even... It's not worth it sometimes, you know? We could get rid of that garbage, but... Hell, maybe we'll get something that... Is gonna be surprisingly good. Like, if we got ourselves duct tape at this point... It would maybe be kind of nice to have the crossbow, because it's such a good duct tape combo. And what is the money gonna get us? Probably nothing. Obviously, I'll kick myself if I get gilded bullets. But the odds of it happening aren't high. They're just, they're not too high. I'll kick myself if I run into a young Adina's shrine. Odds of that happening. You guessed it. Not too high, especially since they did add more shrines, you know, over the course of time here. It was not that com- Oh, you're already dead, my friend. Not that common from the beginning, and now it's like even less so. Even less so. Hoi hoi! Speaking of uncommon shrines, I, uh... St stinking Beholster Shrine. Also, planes are so loud these days. The Beholster Shrine is so rare, and it's like, it's such an uncommon... It, it, it feels so uncommon to have one of the things it needs, let alone when you get into putting some of the things into the actual... Okay. Into the shrine, you're gonna, you know, it's gonna be unlikely that you'll ever get the run where you can put the thing that you haven't put in. But you need, like, what, seven things? It's crazy. AK-47 is one of my, my guilty pleasure guns. It's just so simple. 
So simple, but so effective. Send him. It just does the job, and it does it well. It's an AK-47 in my blood-covered hands. If you get some extra coolness, I would not hate that. Big boy's great, but big boy on a short cooldown is great. Hmm. Ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. Okay. Okay. No. Resist the urge. Resist the urge, big boy. There we go. That's what we save it for. But it's, it's, it is big boy and not bracket key, so therefore we don't have, or we do have to go through the second, wow, phase of the room. That was almost a back-to-back -back fail. People still say fail in 2019, I wonder. No wallman? That attack really just reminded me of a wallman attack. Oh, wait. Oops. Oh, why did I think, why did I thought we had two keys? Oh, wait. Bring a mimic friendship. Oh, shoot, if we don't get another key, that's, that's bad. If we don't get another key, that's bad. For some reason, I thought Ring of Mimic Friendship was only one key. No way. Okay. I'll take it for the shield. I've said my my piece about Full Metal Jacket up to this point plenty of times. Oh, yo. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. That was, that was a satisfying one. I feel like that stopped the second wave. I, am I crazy? Could have sworn that, uh, that there's supposed to be a second wave in that room. I don't know. Maybe if you get them all at the same time, oh, it does something. Well, that was obviously on purpose. I would never do that and open up a secret room on accident. Not something I'd do. Of course not. Okay, so the room starts there. Okay, okay, okay. Don't steal whatever it is. It's a, it's a key. If nothing else, it's a key. That's. I'll take it. That means we are going to get some spawning more often. Potentially meaning we can get some items in bullet hell. Which would be really cute. And not having to worry about the key economy is also a plus. Very late in the run. If we would have got that early, that would have been run shapingly huge. Okay. I feel like there should be a synergy with this and the uh, the fat line for some reason. Just because they're both chunky and sciencey, I guess. Don't you enter my domain. Whoa. Unnecessary, not a hard room, just an impatient room. Uh, what a coincidence, because I'm an impatient man, so. I would also love it here. How much damage up does rocket power goals do? I feel like it's 10, like 10 or 15%. It's not bad, it's worth, it's worth factoring in when we're, you know, raiding guns on this run. Worth factoring in, for sure. Hmm. Hmm. Run out of this, that's okay. Just, I, I like having it. I feel like I have a lot of memories of using this with, um, bloody nine millimeter. Oh, shoot. Uh, this ain't good. Pretty easy to bump him with this. Oh, 
He says as he fails to bop him with that. Okay, two hits on the dragon is a little bit stinky for me. Not my proudest moment. How did that shot come from up there? Alright, if we could charge up our dodge roll, that'd be kind of fun. Get him with a little bit of a bop in the heart. Bop in the heart, and you're to blame. Keep on moving. That's so stupid of us. Okay, 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 okay. Hit. Yay. Trying to be a little bit smooth about it. Ain't a one cycle. I could, I could sniff that out as a two cycle from a mile away. Smelled like desperation. That's what it smelled like. We could have stacked this up. That's another way to do it. In a maybe more intelligent fashion. It's a good gun for the second phase if you want to actually, you know, use your brain. Hmm. Heart down there. Or we could just go here. Or we could have got ammo. You know, we could have just got that hard and got ammo, but... Alas! Not a patient boy. Not a patient man. Twitch sub Tomet3 asks, What was the first game you 100% cleared? Oh my goodness. I... I guess I'll just say the first game that I definitely remember getting a platinum trophy on on the PlayStation because that's the I I don't know I feel like 100% cleared I probably 100% cleared something as a kid like I probably 100% cleared Pokemon Snap because it's like not that hard and I was really into the game uh but first one I definitely got 100% clear on is uh Dragon Age Origins I got 100% clear or 100% the Platinum Trophy. I know that. Uh, it was either that or... Maybe, maybe... Maybe Bioshock, actually. Maybe Bioshock. Not sure. Not sure. One of those two. We're getting hit like crazy. All our blanks are getting out of this spacey. Get out of my facey. We had the thing on our aura, like a little, uh, the, the little thing that says, you're gonna do a lot of damage, and I, I feel like I hit the wall and didn't trust it, really, but I went for it. I went big. I went big, and they went home. I would love big boy right now, and I cannot lie. It's worth it, anyways. I just don't like this. I don't like that phase of that room there. Broop. All right. Yeah, this is another one of those guns that is actually, I think, pretty good situationally. But if you just use it like a normal gun and you compare it super directly to a normal gun, you, you might be a little disappointed. You might be a little disappointed. But it's, it's good, though. It's good. If you use it to its fullest, it can be really good. Which is just, you know, in a defensive way, I, I think. I think that's the way to, to use it effective, most effectively. Whoop. You put up a put up a little aura and then walk out when you attack the enemies. You get a little bit of things putting in between at you and the enemy to get a little bit of safety. It's defensive. Uh didn't know if that would work. Didn't know. Oh. I wondered, like, is the shot even more effective than a bloody 9mm shot? It might not be. Oh. Like, we may we may want a bloody 9mm shot. Can't quite tell. It's actually doing pretty good damage right now. Maybe... Maybe it's just one of those guns that's plagued by being in kind of a weird... 
like a weird level of damage where you get it on bullet hell and it doesn't it doesn't one shot but it's only by like one damage or something so getting a damage up with it maybe makes it appear more valuable could be one of those those types of things there's a couple things like that you know like how uh the crossbow starts to be bad on floor three because uh, it doesn't one-shot basic bullet can anymore on that floor. But if you have a damage up and it still does, you know, it's just as good as before. I feel like this might still be the correct direction. Oh, no. I was wrong. I was wrong. Unless I'm at double wrong. It could be. It could be. It could happen. It's happened before. I have been double wrong before. Was I don't know why I wasn't expecting to pierce right through him. You know what would actually be kind of good in this situation? Uh, the gun we don't have ammo for. Never mind. You know what would actually be really good? The gun that is so OP that we never use it. But we did get it in a fair way today. So I'm allowing myself to use it. And I still feel like I'm kind of guilty. I'm going to fill it up. Show it some love. Yeah, you know, it's kind of, I'm digging that. You get a little bit of value from this, and it's the Thompson submachine gun. Not really, uh, not really a big get right there. Not a baguette. Not a baguette. Like a, it's like a potato roll or something. Not that they're bad or anything, just uh, I'm filling this up. I'm giving it I'm giving it true respect today. You can't say I'm not trying. Alright. And big boy rescue me. Nope, nope. Big boy rescue me. That didn't even kill. Are you kidding me? Oh my money back. That's right. 100% respect. 100 respect. 100 respect. Oh. Okay. We have made an oops. Get in the Easy enough. Usually I'm kind of annoyed to use this gun on those enemies. Uh, okay. Alright, well, we'll... Not that much for spent. That the... Oh, we got the regular old gun, Sinji. Right as I was about to... Oh my... What? 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 Should have filled up the dang AK. This one's like, it's not bad, but it's not the better one of the two. There we go. Not the better of the two. Actually would have preferred to save my big boy for this one if I knew what I was getting into. We're going for, okay, no, we lost our aura. We may still have it. It may just be a visual glitch, but I'm not going to chance it. Ah, uh, you get a chance at finally. My boy. Look the bloody 9 millimeter shots. Where did they go? You'd think we would have gotten one. Who cares about the value? Who cares about the ammo economy? We are on the final fight. Ammo economy be darned. I think this is a pretty clean 53. Do one of those ones where, uh, yeah, I, I feel like we just, we never, we're, oh my god. 
We were never given any kind of signs early on that we were going to have a stinky run. Oh. And now we're trying our darndest to make it happen. Make a death happen. Hey. Well, we're just damage boosting, obviously. Trying to get that damage up to go with the fast fire rate. Obviously. Wouldn't get hit for any other reason. Yeah, see, this is not a good not a good gun for that specific situation. Okay, that is not fair. Hmm. Thunderclap value. I feel like the aura of damage is there, even though it's not visually there, just because this fight does some weird stuff with that. Give him with the, uh, give him the respect. Ooh. See ya later, Sayonara. We are now on a lovely streak of 53 or 200 bajillion, one of the two. Uh, it might be 200 bajillion, actually. It's okay. It's okay. We'll just say 53. But that is going to do it for today. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Subscribe for daily Enter the Gungeon videos and more. Check out my new series, Erratus, Lord of the Darned. <laughs> it's not called that, but it should be. Uh, basically, a re reverse Darkest Dungeon. It is super cool. I think you guys would be very interested in it. Give it some love. Show some support over there as well. Follow on twitch.tv slash retromation to catch me streaming games, including Gungeon Live. Thank you, thank you. And see you next time.